Hey, yeah, why don't you uh, give us a message from our special Pug, sponsors? Pug, Pug Cardi. Anyone, anyone you want to be. Well, we have our special sponsors. Um, Cartier, Bardier from Cardi B. You know, anytime you're in the hood, always do a bird call. And then you and then you get served Cardi Bardier on a plate. Yes. It's her newest, freshest perfume. Yes. And boy, wouldn't you know it, it smells like Cardi B, which is uh, probably a little big perfume and, and uh, maybe a little bit of dick, because you know what? She likes that, and that's fine. <laughs> She's allowed to like that. Talked about that a lot on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure. God. You just ruined us. The only sponsor. Now she's going to bird call at us. It's going to be like three in the morning. She's going to come up at our window and be like, Baka! Baka! And you're like, oh, come on. So, uh, what are, what's happening right now? Uh, what's happening in the world? I'm having my period. No, you know what he would say? Like, Man period. Who we are. You don't even introduce up here. Oh, hello, people. You don't read the sponsors. Yeah. Hello. The sponsors are more important than our names. It's the only thing that have our yeah. names. They the help us out. Right? We got my uh, co hosts, um, Toke Lurker. How you doing? <laughs> okay. I'm not teaching, so I can go by Toki. Oh, Toki. Yeah. Toki. This is oh, Toki. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. I had no idea either. Yeah. And then I got. Everyone uh, already knows me as Colin on my stream anyway. Colin. So yeah. Yeah. How uh, weird CJ is that? Ferg. Are, you, are, you, are you still Yole? C- CJ Ferg. Hi. There's no other name that Hello. I know of. Yeah, I never wrote my There's name. No- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I never really try to go by my legal name just in case students try to Google me, which students yeah. will try to do because high schoolers can't mind their goddamn business. Yeah, yes. Apart terrible. from what they're doing yeah. nowadays, like yeah. being. Really good free radicals and shit protesting what's right. Uh, no, no, because that happened to a lot of Twitch speedrunners that during class all of a sudden they're like, "Are you Twitch.tv slash so and so and so?" And he's like, like "Yikes!" Because yeah, I talk yes. about a lot of shit on there that kids your age probably shouldn't be here. I mean, yeah. So I was like, "Fuck." Okay. I mean, you got you got to know that you're going to be on that though. Like, yeah. if you're putting yourself on literally a streaming website uh, that's that's broadcasted to the entire world. You better expect people to ask you questions. That's just kind of what's going to happen. Yeah, well, it's kind of like a. But that's double. why he also never. He's like, okay, I'm going by this now, and it worked. He never got googled by students again because that shit is. That's kind of. The, you want to separate the two worlds. That's kind of yeah. That's background kinda the checks tough also. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a tough thing because if yeah. you're using that like as an outlet or whatever, mm-hmm. you can't. You got to watch what you say. Yeah. You know, unless someone yeah. googles you, and then you know you're kind of fucked blood. because, especially in a teacher aspect. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck. <laughs> well, it's just, you were I, talking about titties and hoes and women being. <laughs> was that shit you said the other day about women and yeah, especially the driving? Say. I don't even know if I can remember. About that. Not confronted. Okay. I don't need to be like. Reminded. Oh, ha ha, you were in my chat last night. Ha ha. Uh-huh. I don't want to fucking talk about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Like, yeah I, that's that's my place. I don't want. You could be in that place. But I don't want to freaking know that you're there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just keep it keep it separate. Mm-hmm. Keep like. Which is kind of weird because it's like I feel like if they like you as a streamer, there mm-hmm. should be a time and a place. Like maybe you can be like, "Hey, look, we can we can like go chill at a fucking restaurant like after school." I don't know. I would be if I was like a teacher. I think I'd be okay. <laughs> yeah. Like as long as I let you let them know off the bat, they're not getting. It's not like you're you're not like my fucking favorite student. I don't mm-hmm. play that bullshit. Yeah. Like and and just as long as you just keep it to yourself, mm-hmm. we're chill. But like. But like, if there's somebody that's actually like really cool, like literally, what, what if one of your end, one of your mods ends up being somebody that that you teach? You know what I mean? Somebody where because w- with Twitch, you usually have a mod because it's somebody that I mean, you've known for a while or you're t- or, 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 or you're you're close with. Why would you be mad? I mean, you're fucking fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> shit happens, bro. Because <laughs> in two years, you're not gonna have time for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I need college. I need like someone that. Has nothing to do with <laughs> my pocket. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think I'd really mind it all that much. I'd be okay with um with people coming up to me in my. It, it just depends. It just depends on when and where. Because like, I don't want. I, I yeah. kind of what Toby said. Well, it's like it's like it's your space. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want somebody infringing on my space that I wouldn't enjoy doing that yeah um but if it's somebody like a mod and they just happen to be a place where i know them i'm not gonna fucking be like no don't talk to me here like i don't know i just kinda, exactly it's just yeah. like i feel like it depends it depends. yeah yeah it comes with the territory to you know i mean i'm not saying you're welcoming all those things but no way you know, we are yeah yeah 
I don't know. Kind, I mean, kind of. Like I said, I think if you're putting yourself on the internet yeah. in any shape or form... People are going to... You're going to expect all avenues of responses. Absolutely. Yeah. There was actually... So, Michael, uh, my stepdad, has been joking. He always jokes with me about Stormy Daniels, the, the porn oh, yeah. star. Yeah, yeah. The one, so, for people who aren't aware, Stormy Daniels is the porn star that Trump allegedly slept with and then paid off to keep quiet during his campaign. His, her, uh, his lawyer paid off. Yeah, Trump, yeah. Trump, oh, didn't, oh, Trump didn't do Trump it. Trump didn't sign the documents. Apparently, that, oh, that's, so he could keep like a. That's her whole argument. I don't know how much of it is real or not, but that's who, what she alleged. Who, who knows? But so yeah. she th- she sent me this thing that said that from her she quoted she said because of what's going on with this whole situation she was like porn got me um, it, it it helped me get ready for pe- for backlash. For, for oh. people getting being scrutinized for what I do, no matter what I do. So, yeah. and and that's something I feel like that's, that comes with the territory of putting yourself on the internet, whether it's Twitch streaming or YouTube or porn or being, well, we're watching a Smash tournament right now, like doing, being a Smasher. Like, if you're putting yourself out there, you're kind of like, obviously, you, sh- you don't deserve to have crazy people come up to you, but you should expect people to come up to you and go, hey, are you so-and-so even in your place of business? Yeah. It just, yeah. It just It's just going to happen. Yeah. Or or even your free time. It's just, it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, do you, what do you think about that? Oh, what? That in a way, in a way, like as much as you don't want a student coming up to you and be like, I saw you on your stream, that in a way it's like, you're sort of lending that because you are streaming on the internet for everybody to see. Mm. Like, you are just sort of putting it... Like, even if you say, hey, don't come up to me, like, people are going to fucking do it anyway. Yeah. But then, at the same time, it's like... It, I think it just depends on who you are personally. And, like, yeah, you do it, but it, it hits you that, wow, I am talking to people this age. Mm-hmm. And, wow, yeah. maybe I have to maybe watch myself. Yeah, I think yeah. that's. I think that's, that's the thing that like happened upon his former name, Mister Wobbles, I think. And he's like, okay, well, let me like rethink a lot of this since mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seeing like I'm making an impact. So that's that's why they're coming up to him. Yeah, because yeah. obviously that, that he's doing something good. But just because I'm saying this stuff in front of my friends and my little brother is hearing it, and he thinks it's funny, doesn't mean I want him to hear it. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. I think it. I don't know. I it's think it depends. As long, as long as your kids are mature enough to take it. Like I had mm-hmm. my old therapist, like literally cursed around her kids who were like younger than ten, mm-hmm. and and she just she raised them in a way where she was like, if I say it and you hear me say it, I can say that because I'm an adult. Mm-hmm. You can't say that because you're a kid. Yeah. So don't say it. And they understood that, and that uh-huh. was, and that's pretty cool. I'm sure there's other kids that will completely abuse that. Maybe when they're like 12, 13. Oh, yeah. They'll say, yeah, like, like, shit, like, yeah. Yeah. They'll shit. say their parents, I will swear <laughs> they get to school. It's like, I'm pushing my cock cock. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. That's very true. I, I don't know. I it just I think it just depends on the parenting. Like, parent, if parents do a good enough job, they'll keep mm-hmm. you They'll keep you from doing stuff like that. Like I said, like, I've, yeah, I've said Yeah, but those are the same guys. kids on Reddit and just posting pictures of God knows what and being trolls, but hey, you know what? They're doing great at school. They're good little boys and girls on the outside, but when they get to that computer, yeah. Not, see, I wasn't one of those kids, lurker. though. Yeah, I, that's why I can, be- I can believe. Well, that's what I'm saying. But in it's a like, room full of 30 depends. kids, why well, I don't want to teach. Oh, well, one, yeah. <laughs> a lot of well, them. There's a few of them, yeah. It's going to be a lot of people who are like, you know what, first day, little Johnny. Little Johnny's so good, and all of a sudden, second month, black ah, kids. I will, I could, if I could beat up. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> if I could kick a kid, <laughs> you, you go back to the 1920s. Because that was me, pretty much, without the trolling, and why a lot of people I would date, especially would hate me. It's like, oh, you, you like you make yourself look like such a good person. You're like a filthy asshole. Yeah. Um. Thanks. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like whatever do you mean? And all of a sudden their parents would walk up. I'm like, oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so. How's your day? I'm like, oh, yeah, I went to church with the family. You know, I had a good brunch, played with the band. Like, oh, nice, Tokyo. Nice to meet you. And then, like, they'd be like, no, that's not you at all. That's, that's not what it is. <laughs> that's why when I was growing up, I always got told, like, oh, you're... Well, my mother, she would always be like, oh, your kids are so well-behaved. And, like, I mean, I'm not, like, some, like, 
juvenile. Yeah. So like, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, how the fuck do you know? I just met you. Meanwhile, like, how do you know what the fuck <laughs> that I'm doing? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Could be a killer for all you know. <laughs> how old were you? <laughs> Young. <laughs> Young. I, just sent Elon. I, don't know, I had a real like introspection about that shit. I was like, you don't fucking know me. He's doing really well. Yeah. TAL 2012. Yeah, It's just it's, funny. It's, it, well, it's it's how I feel like humans in that regard are kind of stupid because they're like you you really don't know like all it takes is like a couple of things to tell a person about yourself and they'll immediately believe you're a good person. Yeah. If it, like and there's some people that are like that. There's other ones where it's like okay, I understand that getting to know somebody is literally like a, like months and months and months. Mm-hmm. But there's like so like take an extreme example like Ted Bundy who straight up like would charm women and pretend to be injured and then all he had to do was just come off not crazy for an hour and then boom you're dead yeah. like that's it like yeah. it's and that's like i saw there was an episode i think it was like criminal minds or something and and there was a, a part where this guy was like oh hey i'll take this like I, he went on this date with this girl and didn't go well and so he was like oh it's fine don't worry about it like i know it didn't go well but i, I can take you home and then she was like okay I, I'm not really sure. Like, I think I could drive myself for now or get a taxi or whatever. And then he's like, no, it's fine. And so she was kind of like, eh. Mm-hmm. But then she saw that he had a dog in his car. Yeah. And, like, it was a cute dog. And he was like, mm. And then you're like, oh, somebody who has a dog can't be a Fucked bad person. Up. Yeah. yeah. La- later on in the show, he ends up kidnapping her, making her run through the forest as he's shooting her. Like fucking like like the most dangerous game, yeah. Fuck so up. fucked up sh- <laughs> while the dog's chasing her. Like so, it's like. I mean, that's also I like an know. extreme case. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. They're at examples. that point, like they're psychopaths mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So I think it's kind of like interesting as a human. I think that's why I kind of fell in love with Persona. Also, I'm like Mars Mar- so Persona Four, I was like, wow, you really gotta, you can't really go through life normally just we're in this one mass is one face the entire time yeah, yeah. you gotta trick some people sometimes or else you can't, you know, she can't get what you want yeah. or else you can't you know get that first date you gotta be super hoity toity up my own ass you have you to know. play the game <laughs> got this uh got this spot i want to take you to looking really great my darling yeah and two weeks later you would be like oh how you doing her yeah. Yeah. she's like oh that's him just farts all the time <laughs> yeah guess i'm in <laughs> <laughs> I get to fart around her. Too long <laughs> what other what other signs of being in is there? I guess uh, signs of being well, it's just in like in general. Mm. Um, Talking. Back. I mean, I think I think I th- honestly, a jo- I think a job interview because like a job interview is kind of the same way. Like at oh, least for me, God, like, yeah. like like GameStop, yeah. like right, like I got interviewed and I was like completely on my best behavior, and it's not like I was still myself, but. Then once I got the opportunity to get to know my coworkers, I was much more myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, All right, cool. Now I can curse and whatever. And like, and like, I remember there was a closing, like the, a time we were closing, and then we had to like basically arrange all the sales labels for the next sale because it was holidays. Yeah. And my manager puts on all that remains. She's like, these guys fucking rock. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is the best. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just, it's just different. At once you you hit you cross that barrier mm-hmm. of, yeah. of them getting to know you and that trust. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't really think of another example. You got, watching you got out for people judging you because I think that's what like really it is before. Just not making sure that they aren't like just judging you for who you are, and then you could just like break down because once you realize that you're like, all right, I'm good. I can just mm-hmm. yeah. be whatever I want to be. Mm-hmm. It's important because that. There are barometers for crazy people in this world, also. Yeah. yeah. So you have to <laughs> come across as not cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or the right yeah. amount of cuckoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's like, uh, yeah, like, like like friendship too is kind of the same thing. So like, there's always a story on on game rooms that I, I remember of like, I think it was like when Aaron and Dan were first like being friends or whatever and like and he was like oh hey man I'm excited to like hang out with you and then he was just like dude I'm gonna fuck your asshole mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just so I guess we're friends now yeah <laughs> like, like yeah, all right <laughs> yeah well that's and that's that's like that's what happens like uh with mason for instance like when i first became friends with mason he told was you, like, you he would fuck your asshole. i i fucked his asshole oh, so okay. hard 
No, I, I uh, on Facebook. You know, he, they don't know that because they're listening. Oh, I fucked Mason's asshole. Okay. All right, anyway. Yeah, I hope you wouldn't say so prideful like that also. <laughs> oh, no. I, what, what? I fucked his ass. All right. I was, it was the year 2005. <laughs> I was in the quadrant. The quad, why is it fucking called quad? We'll talk about that later. Like you were saying. Quad. Um, <laughs> so, what? <laughs> the quad. The quad. Where people oh, hang yeah. out at school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What why did that? they call it that? It wasn't no, even. Yeah, quad. Side chat, whatever. Okay, it's, yeah, okay. Well, okay. Right. So, so well, I'll tell my mind. story real quick. Quad. <laughs> so, so, on, so on Facebook, Mason, like, I had barely met him, and Mason went on Facebook, like, saying, "Hey, anybody want to chill today? I've got nothing to do." And I just was like, "Oh, hey, let's hang out." And I literally like almost never hung out with him before. And then yeah. afterwards, just like we hung out the whole day, we drank, we all hung out with hot tub of a few girls, and and we like reminisced on a bunch of stories. And then, like, at the end of the day, I t- like we we ended up. Like, just chilling in the car because he was, like, upset about something. And mm-hmm. we talked about life for, like, three hours. And I was like, yeah, yeah, then I fucked his asshole. <laughs> that's not what fucking butthole sounds like. Yeah. It's more like, ow, 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 ow stop, ow, stop. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Wrong. <It's> bleeding out. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> to gay people, it may just be like, oh. Ooh. Ah. Well, I'm sure ooh. a first-time gay person probably is not all fucking... I think you get to go. choose. Don't you, yeah. like, on the dating profile, like, check for which one you want to do? Like you want to, to take it, you want to give. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most, I'm sorry, I'm sure it's Have not. You like guys, I'll you make guys, a grinder profile in the future. I'll make a video. I'll make a video. Like. I'll make a video for it. I want to see how many hits I get. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> you just walk away. You're like, I got hit on so much. That was great. You sound like this like, man. I've been, I've been hitting the gym lately. <laughs> Feeling good, Austin. I, I, yeah. uh, well, so like one of the you was, no, you're curious too, aren't you? I was gonna say something, but okay. You want to so, see what he hits you grinder? No, wait, what? Oh. No, 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 no. Because I mean, you say like getting hit on by like gay people. I was gonna ask, do you guys have any like gay friends or anything like that? No, Tyler was one. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, he never really hit on me, but but he definitely would let me know as a straight dude that I was if I wanted it, I could get all the dudes I wanted. <laughs> I swear to God, I had, that's apparently a thing. Well, because yeah, I I have a gay friend who I work with, and like sometimes like I'll just be walking, and he's like, "Oh, you're looking really cute today." I'm just mm-hmm. like, "Okay, well, thanks." Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and like at some point, I'm like, I'm like, "Oh, that's nice." Kind of picks up my day, mm-hmm. and then like See? I'm not homophobic. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, but I'm just like watching out like. I'm like, hey. Obviously. You know, yeah. like the back if, of my head, if you were, you would have been like texting us. You know what happened today? I'm going to fire this mother. You know, you <laughs> son of a, this guy just. <laughs> Seriously though. It's, like, it's kind of. It's a kinda, lot of four letter and three letter words. <laughs> it's kind of weird in this day and age where it's, I feel like gay people are mo- more openly like expressive about their feelings. At least my experience about it. Because mm-hmm. it's just, that's just, that's just who they are. And like, he finds me attractive and. Mm-hmm. That's you know that's okay. Yeah. I'm not attracted to him, but I mean, yeah, well, that's uh, even more attractive because he can't have you. <laughs> yeah, it's a forbidden fruit, though. Yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna trick him one day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, he's gonna get a sticky kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's right on the cheek. Uh, yeah, I, 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 well, I, I think even like straight guys can under can like. See when a guy like looks good, you'd be like, "That's a good looking guy." Yeah. Yeah. He's a handsome man. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I just thought of Olu. Olu is no, a good looking dude. Gay. No, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Olu's awesome. what, he, what he says, what he says. That's like my, every time I hear his name, that's just my like natural auto response. Yeah, Olu's yeah. Gay. Like, oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. Olu's gay. Olu's Olu's, 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 had, Olu's had many, many girlfriends, and yet uh, pretty much every one of us thinks that he's like slightly. He's on that scale. He's definitely on like the middle of the spectrum. You know what I mean? He's like, not even like gay. He's not even metro. He's just fucking creepy. <laughs> Especially when he—that's out of uh, love. <laughs> Out of love, yeah. It was just, just gets, back in. I don't know. My experience. Like, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand boundaries. No, he doesn't. Yeah. There we go. It's always there feeling you, you up. And oh, shit. if you hear Touching this, your nipples. I know you're going to be a doctor, but you need boundaries. I remember the first time <laughs> I met. And shit. I met Olu. I think you introduced us to mm-hmm. him and Buki. And after a while, like after a few days, like it would just be him, just like standing there, staring and smiling. Mm-hmm. I never thought <laughs> that sounds a lot more creepy than it was. But <laughs> this wide eye, yeah, he's just like, like tilting his head. Yeah, yeah. it's really weird. Like, I just That's knew he wanted perfect, to be fedly. Because then skip now and just this. 
uh, he kind of grew shit. into it. He doesn't know. give a shit anymore about yeah. anything. <laughs> except the world for what it is. <laughs> Welcome, boy. It's getting older. But where did yeah. you see him? Where did you see him hanging out? In the quad. Yeah, the quad. In the quad. Oh, what yeah, kind of quad. weird... Okay, why do they call it the quad? Why do they call it nutrition? Why? Well, well quad what the four f- parts. What are you it wasn't about? four parts. Four parts of what? That's why I was about nutrition. To why are we talking about nutrition? I don't know. Yeah, That's another school. quandary I have. Stop. Inquiry. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, dude, I actually didn't like. I didn't like that either. Nutrition. I think because it's separated into four spots. What? No. Was it the different races? Because the black table, the white table, the mixed crowd, and the Asian? Well, that happened just, on that accident. Was, that was clicks. That happened on accident. Yeah, that's a whole Yeah, other. maybe the quad of clicks. No, because it's, it's short. <laughs> the it's short quad. for something. <laughs> or it's quad. It? It's got to be short for something. No. Somewhere out there. It's Science Jesus. Someone quadrant. out there, help us. Well, quadrant, quadrant, quadrant might mean more than one thing. That's what I'm thinking. Quadranium. Quadricep. Qu- All right. <laughs> what are the quad words Quantix. do you know? Quantics. It's the motherfucking. Yeah, maybe they wanted you because it's at school. You know, a physics, large open closet. area where people can gather. Oh, quad. Oh, there you go. So that's what's. There you that's go. exactly what it means. Okay. Well, that was very literal. Well, there we go. Okay, what about nutrition? What do you want? I, I what do you want? What do you want from us? <laughs> Lunch. I want. I want recess, <laughs> not nutrition. One well, nutrition out, sounded more adult. Room. No. We're kids. No, we, we eat hot we Cheetos. We were like 17. Hot Cheetos and Ho-Hos. Oh, Isn't that mercy. nutritious? He, this is my it's, break time. I want to fucking do First of all, it's the coolest thing ever we got it from, the student store. And, and sadly enough, not a lot of people at student stores at their schools. So yeah. You're lucky because we live in this fucking rich-ass toy town. N- yeah. No, not the reason, but... Um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're I was wrong. Like, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> It is. <laughs> oh, this is one part. This is just like the. Well, this is like this reminds me of a place I went to when I would go to therapy. There was I can't remember the fucking name of the place, but it it was just like everything was like middle to upper middle class scale, and there was just a shit ton of like old white milfs. That's pretty much it. That was the whole town, and that's kind of what this town is. Yeah, uh-huh. but for the bit. school district, this sounds more families. I think, I think it's like maybe the, with the PTA. It's like, hey, should we sell this here, this there? And I think it depends also on how long the break period students have. Because if you don't have that long of a break, then there's no point in having a student store. But if, you have, like, if you have a lunch, you might as well have having people. I'm, ah, administrative bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're going full teacher mode. Student store is a cool place where it literally what it sounds like. It's students running the thing with one adult not giving a shit. Yep. And it's like, you got munchies, you got Fanta, you got Mambas, you got Starbursts. Whatever you want. I don't think they sold anything healthier than what you want. Oh, hell no. Absolutely yeah, no, not. No, 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 no. nutrition. No, yeah. that's, that's My, like, my gotta... breakfast was like a strawberry Fanta and a bag of like cheddar munchies. I had fucking two <laughs> crispy cha- sandwiches in the morning for breakfast. From Carl's? Yeah. Oh. That's not, nutri- that's not the suit of the store, but that's what I had. Yeah, that's, the, that's the cafeteria, which also had just unhealthy bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, why do they sell so much unhealthy bullshit at our high school? Because it's cheap. Because we're young. That's true. Damn. We can run that off like it's nothing. Imagine having that type of cafeteria like 20 now. Oh, God. It's like, oh, no, God. No Western bacon. That's a steal, though, for how much we used to buy it for. Yeah. Like, three true. bucks. It was like a good like dollar, $2 off or mm-hmm. whatever it was. Yeah, it's, it's very true. Yeah, I, yeah, now there'd be like PTA meetings all over the fucking place. Like, you can't serve this garbage at school. My kid's already 350 pounds. You can't get... Uh, he eats eight of them every time he comes to school. Like, <laughs> But that did happen. They took away the vending machine our, after our freshman year. The vending machine, all the good snacks in it, where I would get my cinnamon rolls and yeah. stuff like that, just gone. They had cinnamon rolls in the vending yeah. machine? Yeah. Oh, fucking oh, so, 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 so much good, good stuff. And then just gone like that. <laughs> One year later, we didn't get any of... The, oh! Oh, we didn't get any of the good stuff. <laughs> Something that happened to Chris? We down him? Yeah, Naira oh, okay. just threw a mistake. Oh, jeez. Good shit, Naira. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of glad that for like two of my four years in high school that I was I was one of those kids that didn't eat a lot. Just period. Just I wouldn't eat. So I, I would pretty much like not eat lunch or I would have a bag lunch or whatever. And then I'd come home and then I'd just eat my... Eat everything in sight. Ah. But, but then... But then... Junior and senior year, when I got to know you guys, and I'm not blaming you guys, that was a weird transition. But, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa, we I can join your fat well, ass. You guys, you guys did introduce me to like the cookies and like, Sneaking oh up. my God, then I ate like fucking two of those every day. We didn't condone and also fat being able to go I told you not to eat that cupcake. Being able to go off campus did hinder us as well. <laughs> what? So it was being able to go off campus too. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was we exciting. Did that, we did that sophomore year though. It was yeah, exciting, yeah. yeah. I blame that on the older kids. 
Marco, and, and the yeah. who's a bad influence on us with his big titty sister. And the, what? Damn, what? Uh-huh. No, 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 not sister. The girl he dated, Ch- Chelsea Hastigan. No, I, I don't, don't know if you remember. remember her. All oh, wait, she was on the girls' basketball team. Yeah, I saw her. See here, she lives she's like down the street from me. Woman, no, she's not. She has a baby, dude. She has a baby. Yeah, she unless she baby. didn't like the dudes. I thought oh, so too. Well, it doesn't mean she can't have a baby. Maybe I'm thinking of a different person. Yeah, you probably think of a different person. But I remember person. some girl on the basketball team who had big tits. That's this, very. No, I'm that's sure a lot of a lot of. Was a lot of them. Cause, we were in high school. I think it's okay to remember girls at that point. We're no, like, yeah, that's a girl yeah. with big tits. Because we had to guard them. I don't remember their names, so. Because the on <laughs> I guard their fucking titties. <laughs> Say it louder. You you guard far away titties. from the mic. I guard their titties. Yeah, <laughs> Say it with pride. Because the on alumni night. Alumni would play the varsity, blah, blah, blah. JVs wouldn't do anything. And then the freshman boys would play, like, the varsity girls? Yeah. I fucking got tackled once. Yeah, Kevin Rush didn't give a fuck. He went in. He's like, <laughs> gender equality all the way. <laughs> <laughs> 20 points, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was I mean, weird because it's like you didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to touch. Like, yeah, it's just weird. Out. It's awkward. Yeah. They were like replaying the pace. We're like, cut. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> hands on her back. Like, Use your chest or something. <laughs> and you're like backing you down. So you're like getting grinded on. You're like, oh, well, oh, weird. this is where I don't want to be in high school at this age. <laughs> it's like November. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't a year in. It's like, yeah, it's like a month in. <laughs> <laughs> or like three months in or whatever. If you had uh, to explain rallies. Rallies. Without, but that, it sounded like some weird, like crackhead clan meeting. How would you explain it? <laughs> it's because kind of, it's, it was it's, toned it's down. It's like a school circle jerk. Is kind of what it is. <laughs> he did it again. The upbeat. It, it was toned <laughs> down when we got into high school. When my sisters are in high school, our sisters, or whatever, in high school. That's what I've heard. Rallies are nuts. Really? Yeah. Like, they're fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like you couldn't hear the person on the microphone at all just until like, the music would start. Crazy. And like. People at that time, like Jordan Knight, Youngstown would be performing and shit at the rallies. My dad was in and out for doing the hustle and shit like that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I guess I mean the 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 best example I could think of the rally is when we did fucking man share. So I don't know how much it's like it man definitely share. I guess it toned down. I never heard how crazy it got. I just heard a crazy mm-hmm. messed up story about a rally one time, but that's just gonna bring down the mood, so I'm not gonna fucking say that shit. Oh, uh, is it the Rice Krispie Treat rally we missed? No. When Snap, Crackle, and Pop came through in their limo, is that a th- and they? <laughs> the fuck! I was like, what? No, not at I, I, I kind of believed you. I was like, no. there were people in costumes. No. They came up in a limo. I was like, um, no, no, no there was drags. was Martin Luther King Day during a rally and a bunch of fucking no. I, the, yeah. No, what the oh, what? Yeah, you just not, said no, you were not going to say it. Don't say it. You asked. No, no, no. he wasn't <laughs> asking. I said Rice Krispie Treats. To yeah, make it happy. I want to remind you. Let's talk about the Rice Krispie Treats. Let's talk about Man Cheer and how you tricked us into it. What happened? I think we already talked about man. Did we do yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. You just, you What's just started. What's going on in the world today, That was guys? so weird. <laughs> let's, 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 let's move away from that. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just, bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Rice Krispies. You asked. That's what happened. He's behind his head. He's like, what? Yeah, I'm like, what? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, no, I'm going to talk about the nigga taker. The what? what? <laughs> <laughs> the what did you just say? The nigga taker. That's, what is that? It's the Undertaker, but like black, and it's a real person on the indie wrestling scene. That's dope. <laughs> why? why Google, wait. Google. Why do they just call him the Undertaker? No, Does he have to have taker. his own? Why black? is that his actual name? Yes. Does he have to have why? His own announcer? That's not okay. <laughs> Google it. Does he have to have his I own believe black you. announcer? I'm not saying I don't believe you. You have to, you have to Google it because it's a follow oh, up. Does he have to have his own black announcer so that he can just say his name? Does he come no, out to hip hop no. music? No, yeah. no, no. Just comes out. No music. Does he have like all black face everything? Paint? Oh, Why okay. doesn't he need face paint if he's already black? Because he imagine a black actually, person wearing he's black. Extra dark. He's going to war. Not face paint, like face paint. War paint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. War paint. Yeah, not, not like be black face when yeah. you're already black. <laughs> <laughs> That's Blacker weird. face. Yeah, black. Black face. I need to be face. darker. We went full sharpie. I'm gonna type in the actual word. Don't on. do er because that's not how it's pronounced. Well, I know I, I got that. I, I figured it was with the a. <laughs> I think it actually might be er, but I'm not sure. This is the stuff. I would make sense because it's under, and then anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nigga taker. Yeah, that's a what the fuck? <laughs> Why does he? Whoa! 
I mean, he actually is pretty scary looking. Yeah. What is that mask that he's got on? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, it's not even a mask. It's like he actually just skins some dude and then just like let the skin dry out. What? Look at skin it. Skin dry out. That's creepy. It's scary. It's it. very creepy. He doesn't look as big as Undertaker. How big is he? I don't know, but it'll take you. Yeah. Uh, nigga. Uh, also, did you hear about yoga's doing goat goat yoga? Huh? Wait, goat, who, who, uh, huh? Goat yoga. Who's you, doing goat, goat yoga? yoga? I heard this at work. Like and that. I, we all were like, you are insane. What does that I mean? I guess I watch too what's much a, TV. What is what's a goat, goat yoga? yoga? Imagine no more yoga, but like a goat on your back. <laughs> so, like, like, so you're still Yoda, but there's just a goat there? Yeah. So it's like some weird... Banjo Kazooie ass shit. I'm yeah. so fucking confused. Imagine a room. Is it, like, is it Yoda if, or Goat Yoda? yoga? It's goat Yoda. Goat no Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> like if you Google huh. Goat Yoga, you're oh, yoga. it's Yoga. Yeah, I think it's Yoda. No, I was even more confused. Goat Yoda. Go, go goat Yoda. Yoda. You sound like you're trying to say Toyota. <laughs> no, <you're talking laughs> Yoda. It's like if you Google Goat Yoga, you will see it looks like a stock image, a room full of people and goats. <laughs> Why? What Please. the fuck? Let's it's check this it's out. supposed to be more relaxing, I guess. How? I Those fuckers know. jump around and jump on people. Have you seen the videos How of do you goats get the just yo- jumping around and How jumping get on the people goat on you? That's yeah. what I'm saying. You just put like garbage on your head? No. <laughs> Probably eat your so hair. So you're like, you still have that 10-year-old part of your brain that believes goats just eat like tin cans they and shit. Do. They goats, do. No, goats eat a bunch of random shit. No, they that's do. for they real. They eat everything. No, that's for real. That's real they shit. They eat normal food, but if you give them a wrapper, they'll eat it. I'm you not, not an that's African a real dad. thing. You had an African daddy. I will daddy. look that up. I see you not. That's a real thing. <laughs> I, I shit you not. I'm not like I swear shut to God. Both your beautiful I still remember I swear. when my, your beautiful mouth. I, I swear. I, sh- I remember goats when my boots and my grandma was hands. making fucking goat soup. Hold on. Do goats, goats eat trash? I'm looking at No, not like trash. A, boots and tin cans. She oh, they're like not gonna eat that. <laughs> That's no, they're gonna about. eat like wrappers. Like yeah. shit, like a dog eats. They eat wrappers, but like in cartoons, they always had goats. Just like oh, aluminum. But that's I, yoga. I, hold on, I'm looking up. Do goats eat cans? <laughs> what can goats eat? Um, that should be the podcast name. It goats. says okay, so they the won't eat diet. cans, but it says they will chew on and taste just about anything remotely resembling plant matter to decide whether it's good to eat, including cardboard, clothing, and paper. <laughs> so they will eat a bunch of random bullshit. <laughs> they have an open palate. Yeah. Like, oh, what's this? Nah. They, uh, it's, it's They're not weird. some carnosaurs. They're some omnivores. You almost had it. Well, yeah, you you, just, you, you almost said a it. sentence that made I sense. Hate it. It's even worse because <laughs> why did you maintain eye contact with me when you were saying? <laughs> I, I didn't. I was not going to nod or shake my head. You knew what I was going to say. Yeah, I was waiting for you to say. It. I wasn't going to help you at all. Omnivores. I was like, okay. You said the sores. Omnivores. He has to keep going. Omnivores. Oh, the Santa Clarita diet. Yeah, fuck. Oh, what, the cannibal one? Did I watched you guys the, watch I did, it? Did I didn't know it was it? about that. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, that, uh, I watched like the zombie first, or yeah. something. Did you like it? I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't like the daughter. She was, like, too angsty. Too angsty. <laughs> like... I need to conk you on the fucking head, angsty. Maybe it just translates today to the translates today. Yeah, translates today. I, yeah, translates, I don't fucking the, you know. I don't. Oh like god! I just felt like I didn't know who it was for. You the know show? what I mean? Yeah. Well, because because mm-hmm. it was like because um, there was angstiness, and then mm-hmm. there's zombies, and and there's also like the oh. the the oh. wife wife and husband scenario. Mm-hmm. It's like maybe I guess it's for everybody, but I don't know. I like shows where it's like there's a defined like. It was for the family to watch. That's what, so that's what I'm saying. So I guess it is for the family show. But yeah, I didn't. I, I don't, don't know. But the zombie thing kind of throws that off. It's I feel a, it's a show good enough when you're stuck and at a relative's house and you just don't want to be there and your battery's dying, like today. And um, <laughs> I think they started on the second season on accident because they're referring to a lot of stuff. But it's still easy to keep up with. And I think it's I, I, it's all right for what it is so far without watching the first season. And I think Timothy Oliphant is just awesome. Yeah, he's a great actor. Yeah, I was like, he looks so familiar. I was like, ah, oh, that's who it is. He played the white Japanese sushi chef in the league also. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. a whole different thing. <laughs> he was Hitman. Hey! <laughs> he's Hitman. <laughs> yeah, he played Hitman. Like, like the game? The oh my god, he was game. Hitman? The movie. Like the, yeah, the movie he about the, the game. He was yeah. in The Office also. What the fuck? He was Hitman. He was in the office uh, for like Check a couple out, episodes. So weird. Do you guys think there'll ever be a good video game movie? Like, yeah. Like, 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 like <clears throat> Oscar nominee good. Maybe. No. Maybe not. No. Yeah. No, okay, so why is that? 
because they don't know what to do with it when they get it. That's you know, kind of one thing, too. They got the Uncharted actors and script was supposedly brought together in 2011. Hmm. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I misheard what you said. Say it again. I said the, un- the Uncharted video game. Yeah. The movie they want to they make the for actors, it. Yeah. The actors and the screenplay was all brought together ready to shoot in 2011. And then they just never made it? The actor changed 2012. And that's when the Assassin's Creed movie rumor started in 2012. Oh, no, oh, that, that movie so to wasn't give that you, good either. Like, yeah, like the priority on the list for movie studios is obviously like really who, low. I, who, who knows? Because I mean, Hollywood right now is all about adaptations. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I feel like once they find that really good video game and they see potential in it, they can make it yeah. really good. Because comic books, like 10, 15 years ago, who thought that comic books would be like the tent poles of now you know yeah but this i think it's a different medium though because with that one it's like it's already you're kind of reading a story and then like kind of putting your own voices or whatever in your head when you see like only the voices because they obviously like comics visually already kind of show Mm -hmm. you what you need to see but video games are like an interactive thing which i feel like sometimes enhances an experience where it's like i'm playing it and i'm like kind of vicariously living through it like I, i like there's i feel like there's there's certain exceptions something like persona where they've already they're making an anime or it's already out or whatever yeah. where it's like that's so story driven where the intera- the interactivity doesn't really matter it's just but when you do play it it makes it a lot of fun because the battle system's like really good and and all that sort of stuff and the the creatures are cool but it's <clears> like <throat> even with that like part of the reason that it's cool is that you get to see possibly like you get to explore and see if you can find all the creatures almost like Pokemon right yeah. like like a Pokemon movie is going to have some sort of, like, main antagonist and protagonist sort of thing. But one of the coolest things about Pokemon is seeing how many different Pokemon exist. So I think that's why they did something like Pikachu's Vacation. Remember that? Waffle. Where it's just, like, a bunch of fucking Pokemon on an island all speaking their shit to each other and shit happens. Like, like your favorite yeah. Pokemon, Waffle Top. Uh-huh. Don't forget about got <laughs> Crest, <Yeah. Dave. laughs> Crest Ocean. <laughs> yeah. Crest also, Ocean. everyone's f- the crowd favorite, Leaf Low. Yeah. I don't even I don't know. And Blowtop. And I think that's also, uh, it's like Persona 4 was like an amazing video game. My favorite game of all time. Got me through so much shit. Yeah. But like the an- the animated movie, blah, 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 series was even, it was rushed. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I think even video game movies struggle because they're rushed. But I wouldn't or knock it down. Or bad shit crazy like the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> yeah. Or like, why? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't knock it down. I mean, they're trying. I feel like. I feel like because video exactly. games is such an interactive thing and even so like with movies they 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 give you their imagine like imaginal take on it. Mm-hmm. They you know, you're not using your imagination as much. I feel like if there's a video game that has that much of of an emotional interaction that eventually they'll make a movie that really, you know, resonates with the audience and then it could be really, really good. Because be. I mean like like I said with books, like I mean, usually, usually use your imagination with books. Movies, yeah, movies they do the imagination for you. Kind with of games, you kind of just play it, so you're more interactive. Yeah, with, it. with the story and both gaming and you know shooting movies, it could be it could go hand in hand. I think it could. I think it just depends on the like. Like he said, yeah, it if depends. it's not Super Mario Brothers, I think you could do it. Like yeah. like The Last of Us is is already sort of basically a movie that you play anyway. Yeah, like that could be done, and I, um. I, I, I'm trying to think of, of games. I don't think anything Nintendo would ever work as a movie. Yeah, I don't think like they're so. Ma- but they're making they're making a Mario movie. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, they're making one. It's by the same studio that did the Minions movie. Mm. The live action? Like No, it's gonna be car- it's gonna be animated. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I just don't know. Mario's like I'm expecting him to like talk in that movie. Yeah, I don't and, know how and, I feel about that. Yeah, I don't either. Because he only <laughs> says that, that character's literally said maybe 30 words in his entire history of existence yeah. like it, it really is he's said a couple of things like like I've, I've heard him say thank you for playing my game like yeah. but like and it's not like Charles Martinet couldn't do that but like but do it quick like how do you do that for a fucking and like how do you have Mario be the center of attention for a pl- like an hour plus and not have him like be have him be like normal Mario where he doesn't say much and all he's doing is jumping you know what I mean like that's such an interactive Thing they have the cartoon yeah. for like, a source material. They use the old cartoon. Oh Jesus, with Mama <laughs> Luigi and all that, Toad taking off his hat and shit. Um, that would be interesting. I want a reboot of Wanted. Wanted? Yeah, I really like that movie. Why would that you want a reboot? Awesome movie? Like, would you want a sequel? Yeah, no, 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 no. Fuck that. 
Sequels are wor- not worth the time anymore, Gio. You don't want to see him. Sequels after, are not worth the time anymore, Gio. The bullet in his father, he killed his dad. He can't Spoilers. be out here in front of Miramax Studios saying we should do a sequel where he wrote this reboot for Wanted. Why would <laughs> you know you want what we're going to call this reboot. What we're going to call it? <laughs> Unwanted. God damn it. Terrible. I hate you. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god no. it's just everyone's the opposite no <laughs> he's actually a badass and he just slowly deteriorates and nah. just like a, a meek accountant and now it's time to rebuild the army of, of the unwanted <laughs> Ooh, a million so you can't see that Wait, Morgan, you can't see that uh, Morgan Freeman can't read on. the thread he is the thread he's yeah. just this big thread mummy yeah he's just in there no eyes <laughs> <laughs> Angelina's like Jolie's like look at my big lips no and the dude that no she got replaced with a girl who plays Trinity cause then you're like oh man Oh, so you're God. slightly disappointed. She's, she's somewhat yeah. attractive. No, come on, no, stop that. That movie she's tried not. to trick me to yeah, think she was attractive. Herself. Yeah, she's, she's attractive. She's not no. ugly. She's just like, I would date her if I was 40. <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably. And that's yes. when she was thirty. Yeah, yeah, that's just not my not my thing, man. That's like that's a good settle down girl. She's something where it's like not she, like flaunting around Vegas type of yeah. girl. She, she's a jack of all trades and a master of none kind of okay. thing to me. It just there's nothing that really sticks out to me about her. Like she she's got nice, like she's got nice eyes. She has a nice. She has a great jaw. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a. I don't, really I don't know if that's, that's a compliment. I don't know thing. how to take that. Hey, babe, you got a great jaw. I would love to go out with you, but don't take it hard. You got You're a good for girl, mandible. Yeah, I see you when yeah. you walk around those high heels. You got good strong toes. See those corns on those toes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, dude, you know, oh, that just grossed me out when we, I just reminded when I worked at Big Five and I mm. saw the, and I saw. Bunions up close for the first time. <laughs> oh, this shit, shit was gross. Yeah, they it, looked like, it looked like other toes. Oh, Did God. you have to kneel and put the shoe on for them? Yeah, yep. What? Oh yeah. Did she you was. Have to she was uh, if you got bunions, you're probably older. Uh-huh. So she needed the assistance. Like I, I, I like got over it, but uh-huh. I definitely was grossed out. But I was like, I'm willing to help you because you are a, an old lady that needs help. Oh, but wow. I. Uh, but yeah, that's I, whenever, whenever I give shoes to people, I would just say good luck and then walk, <laughs> and then walk away. Yeah, oh. you're a good employee. I, I tried to be. It was only old people, though. You're, if you're like 50 or 60, fuck off. You're 70 and above, maybe I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. My favorite thing is, is when people would try on uh, would try on one shoe, and then they would run around the store, mm-hmm. and they'd try it out. Pop, 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 yeah, they'd be like, uh. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. okay, it feels good. Hold on, I'm getting one more go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. It was funny as shit. Thank you, my horse. I, I'm glad you like your new little <laughs> shoes I put on you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I sound like Scooby Doo. Uh, not... <laughs> <laughs> did, ever... did you ever get those things to work on walls to measure your foot size? Your those, sh- your the metal things? things? Silver yeah. foot measures? Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were fun. What did you do? How were they fun? What did you do with them? I'm glad you're ashamed of your own answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I just had a. I just had an embarrassing memory before I knew what embarrassing memory. I, before I knew what those were, you tried to eat one. No. <laughs> before I, I, I'm looking for shoes. Eloy, <laughs> what? I need to taste some metal. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're painting you as what? Like a dumbass. Okay, <laughs> really okay continue. I don't know. Before I knew what they were, I was like, I don't know. I, I can't tell you an age. Maybe like six or seven. My mom would go to fucking Macy's or JC Penney. You find those things in the shoe section. Yeah. I didn't know what they were, so I just slide it. I like, you know, try to figure it out, and yeah. I'd just be like, I don't know, making like driving noises with it or something like that. Like I don't know. I thought they were fun. And then I grew up and I knew what they were, and then I figured out that they were for feet. That's not bad because you're yeah. young. You're not like twelve. How's that doing embarrassing? It? I don't know. That's like, it could have been way be. worse. Funny. Yeah, yeah, like eating it, like, yeah, like drinking it, or you something. You could have put it in your shirt and then told a bunch of people you got <laughs> armor. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you could have. It could have been way worse. I don't I don't know. Know. My foot's this big. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, look at my foot. I can't do a little kid voice. This <laughs> Mom, look at my foot. <laughs> Imagining. I'm a size 15, mom. It's <laughs> 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 on the cold. And yeah, you're, oh. pre- you're pretending you're smoking. <laughs> look, mom, I'm smoking. <gasps> yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did that shit all the time. Right? Right? Smoking, so mom. Cool. <laughs> what if your voice started off deep, then got higher to where it needed to be? So, like, reverse what happens with puberty. 
I think it's like it Benjamin scare every person. Yeah, Benjamin like Button like syndrome for with your voice or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so God. instead of you going from high pitch to deeper voice, you go from deeper voice to like where it needs to be <laughs> gradually. So you're like ninety. You so sound like. like you're <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, the, like the switch is just like you have like like little kids like saying like having a, a voice like this, but they're like, "Mommy, give me my juicy juice." Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and then you have adults and just being like, "All right, well, the numbers really shut yeah. here today." Exactly. They, 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 in this in this quarter in our first quarter sales oh, like it's that's God. fucking hilarious yeah. the, the elementary school choirs oh <laughs> <laughs> everyone's a baritone <laughs> the fucking halo menu screen <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That was our first grade graduating class. Thank you, everyone, for coming. <laughs> mommy, I did it. Daddy, did you see mommy. me? <laughs> I wore my dress, and I felt such like a pretty unicorn. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go to prom with Frederick. And that's the one thing that would change is when you're a teenager, that, that the, the transition would be the same, yeah. sort of, except then you would just have a... Then if you had a lighter voice, it would be like, oh, wow, this fucking noob still has a dark, deep voice. Wow, what a weirdo. And the girls would be kid. like... What would the girls be like? Girls would... Well, the girls would sound like girls still, right? It's a little... Like, oh, well, look well, at this high pitched voice. Oh my gosh, it's so high... It's so high pitched. Well, then it would be a little yeah. girly. Ear piercing. More deep. Well, it'd go, from, <laughs> it'd, go, it'd go from like... Like womanly to, to girly, which yeah. is like a stark difference. Yeah. And sexy deep voices would not be sexy deep anymore. They'd be like puny deep voices. That'd be really weird. <laughs> I don't want to imagine a life like that. So yeah. like, be like, funny. There's no sexy fun voice. Yeah, instead yeah. of trying to sound like this, you sound like, "Hey, baby, what's up?" Well, no. Michael Jackson would be the most masculine dude on this planet. Yeah, yeah. He would. If we went by that thinking, yeah, yeah. He, he really would. Yeah, yeah, he would. That'd be that's a little bizarre. I just can't. I just that's an alternate like, universe. And then right sex there. noise would be fun. Ah, 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 oh, because ah, because girls Who's and boys, because <laughs> girls and boys when they were little kids didn't have oh, like no. a stark difference in voices. <laughs> like yeah. you know what I mean? Like imagine what you sounded like when you were a little kid, and then like compare it to a girl's voice when they're a little kid. Yeah. It's really not that much different. Yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't really yeah. be able to tell the difference. Like you just you would you if you heard somebody in your apartment you'd just be like I know two people are having sex I don't know who yeah. but they're having sex they're humans <laughs> um I, I like to I saw a quote from uh, George Carlin and he said that he wishes life worked backwards mm -hmm. that basically when you were con like you were conceptualized like basically you had to work and work and work and then as you as you basically get older mm -hmm. then they kick mm -hmm. you out of your job because now you're too young to work there yeah so oh. then you're, oh. yeah so then you start like th then as time goes on you could kind of party or like you could raise a family mm -hmm. and then once you do that then you get younger and younger so then you just spend like the waning days basically just partying and partying and partying yeah and then when you're a little kid and you go back into the you basically would go back into the zygote and the embryo or whatever and then you'd basically be in a place he was like it's air conditioned and it's nice and you just <laughs> Jesus, sleep really and then he's that. like and then yeah. he goes at the end then you end with an orgasm yeah but can you have a I thought you just because it go from reverse I thought you just wither away and just yeah, that too. <laughs> just disappear. Yeah, well the orgasm would go in reverse thing and then pop. nothing would come out as yeah, opposed yeah. to things coming out so it's just uh. so <laughs> <laughs> So she's just, Spit it out. So it's just an orgasm, but you just fade away. Yeah. So it's like, ah! Oh. Yeah, it's just puppet. It's just <laughs> yeah, it's just, ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I came so much. <laughs> I came none. And he was never heard from again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, I guess that's one way to go, right? That's a good way to remember people by their yeah. dying orgasm. Yeah, by my, <laughs> by my final orgasm. Yeah. It's like the worst finisher. People ever. have actually died. <laughs> Like when they orgasm, or like during sex, old people. Well, besides old people, no. Didn't that's a good, that's stop. probably a good. Yeah, that's probably a good. Yeah. Like, didn't want to stop. It. That happened in South Park. <laughs> didn't want to stop. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't, can't stop. Do you yeah. Think, do you think if only one of them died, do you think they knew? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I think you're done. <laughs> oh, this yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a happy Freeze. death. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Han <Just> Solo. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> the biggest smile. Uh, I, I, I wonder if it's happened, like, to young, like younger people. Because, like, older people I can see. Because that happened, that was an episode of South Park where Stan, Stan's grandpa 
like met some lady that he fell in love with, and they like oh, fucked, and then and then he literally fu- he literally wow. fucked her to death. <laughs> He's just like, oh, that was great, and then he like looks at her, and she literally has like flies around her, and she's just like, no, oh. uh, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so fucked up shit. Um, I'm gonna look up how many people. Okay, have well, I'm gonna look up specifically have people died from an orgasm. This is our last fact for the episode. This is be, we're yep. Gonna, we're really going to end the know. podcast episode on orgasm death. You know everyone wants to know this. No. Yes. I don't know. No one wakes up on this. everyone's mind. No yeah. one's going to wake up on a Thursday morning and go like, hmm, I have morning wood. I wonder how I can die from jacking it. <laughs> oh, yeah. People, yeah. Oh, people. Oh, there's. Why are there colloquial names for it and euphemisms? Him. Dying in a saddle or fucking him. death by snooze. They call him. What? If you were dead by Snoo Stew and they brought you back to life, uh-huh. would it be a resurrection? God damn it. <laughs> would it be a resurrection? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, greatest joke. <laughs> and also simultaneously the worst. Yeah. Uh, that hurt. That hurt in here. I hurt inside. A pope did it. Yeah, baby, you're damn right. Yeah, Pope John uh, the Twelfth. Seven minutes. Seven minutes Aren't they yeah. supposed to be abstinent? Well, he, it was May nine sixty four. Like not even the thousands. Like it was nine sixty four. Oh, okay, okay. One story relates that he died of a paralytic stroke suffered while having sex with a woman named Stefanetta. He may yes. have died. He Why may have, <laughs> stitching the girl's name out. What yeah. the fuck? Stefanetta. Wait, he may hell. have died instead with a woman's husband. Husband defenestrated John. Ooh. Or what? be oh it's the act of throwing someone or someone out a window. There's a word for that. Oh. Defenestrating, defenestrated, or beat him to death with a hammer during the act. Got to use it in okay. court. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's see if there's any. Oh, okay, okay. Here, Nelson Rockefeller, former vice president of the United States and heir to the Rockefeller family fortune, died in '79 of a heart attack at 70, or to be caused by an orgasm during intercourse with his secretary. He was having sex at 70. Yeah. Someone in the New York Magazine quipped, Nelson thought he was coming, but he was going. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it for the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <Right here. laughs> Colin, where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> that would tickle me. He's gone. Okay. You can find me at the Ferg91 on Twitter and the Ferg on twitch.tv slash twitch.tv. <laughs> Why are you what? looking at me like that? What? <laughs> Eli, where can they find you? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, Yoli underscore Valentine. I'm looking at you Check like it out. this is like the 60th episode. <laughs> <laughs> you, Eli, I still can't get it, right? I already said they can find me. Going! They know where they can find me. You can find me on uh, the rooftops singing on a cloud. Say that. No, singing your Don't heart out. Singing, singing your heart out. It's a child uh, Wait, really? Bring that up. Wait, I didn't know a, that. A lost prophet. Wait, Wait a, a child molester? A lost prophet's lead singer is like a child molester, and he was a dude like everyone in the community and music appreciated, and... We don't talk. We don't. We don't talk about that. Toki. That was your favorite song. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> you can find me at twist.tv backslash bad inputs having a resurrection of some sorts on that channel. <laughs> I made a night bot. Did you guys? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys know that old people out. can't have like the most STDs? Yeah, because they have sex all the time and protect it because they can't have babies. They're, they're gonna die soon. So like, fuck it. God damn it! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Bye. <laughs> huh.